I'm, uh, I would like to call the, uh, the media present for a symbolic action to um, highlight the lack, the lack of action on the part of my government, the Canadian government. And the representative of the Canadian government here today, Mr. Lloyd Axworthy. Canada is the worst country here at The Hague. My country is the worst country here at The Hague. This according to the Fossil of the Day Awards, Canada outshines every other country on the planet. Every other country on the planet. And I'm a Canadian and I'm ashamed of my country. Some people are smiling. Some people think that this conference is an exercise in politics and diplomacy and compromise. The only thing that's being compromised here is the integrity of the planet and the integrity of the, the biosphere. So what does one do when one, one's own country is the outcast, the pariah of the world? What does one do three days before a federal election <coughs> when the people will decide who will represent them in Ottawa. I'm 45 years old. My name is Tuker Gomberg. And I've carried a passport all my adult life proud of my country. Tonight I'm ashamed. Canada should go home. Mr. Axworthy should go home. The Canadian delegation should go home. Get on the next plane and get out of here. Because you're not helping the climate and you're not helping the planet. Go home, Mr. Axworthy. Go home. There's still time to reconsider. If you want the details of what Canada is doing here, talk to the NGOs. Talk to Greenpeace. Talk to the David Suzuki Foundation. Talk to the others. The International Institute for Sustainable Development that just released a video on the impact of the current warming on Canada's Arctic. It's already melting away. With a two and a half degree Celsius change in temperature, it's already melting away. And the, the Canadian scientists are anticipating a 12 to 15 degrees Celsius warming of the Canadian Arctic. The Arctic will be no more. The Arctic will be no more. Unless these delegates take action, unless Mr. Axworthy pushes and pushes hard to protect the Arctic. 40% yeah. of the sea ice is already melted away. The polar bears are in trouble. What's Mr. Axworthy doing? He's digging holes! He's digging holes! He's expanding loopholes! Mr. Axworthy, expanding loopholes for nukes, expanding loopholes for everything but reducing our greenhouse gas emissions. Go back to square one, Mr. Axworthy. Go back to Kyoto, what was promised, a 6% reduction in emission levels. 6% down, and Canada is heading for over 25% up by 2012. Canada has no business being here. Mr. Axworthy should go home. I'm ashamed to be a Canadian. I'd be happy to try to answer any questions there might be. Si vous voulez, je suis Canadien, c'est une situation intolérable. Monsieur Axworthy est ici, il doit retourner au Canada. 
sur le premier avion qui est disponible, parce que Canada est un paria ici. Canada est le pire. Je m'appelle Tupper Gomberg et j'habite à Toronto. First name Tucker, T-O-O-K-E-R, last name Gomberg, G-O-M-B-E-R-G. Canada is the loophole king of the world here tonight. Canada is expanding the loopholes. The fossil of the day uh, has been given to Canada on more occasions than any other country on the, on the planet. Canada should be ashamed of, its, of, of what Mr. Axworthy, the perspective that Mr. Axworthy is bringing here to The Hague as Canada's position. Three days before an election, there's a lot of compromise that's been going on here over the last few days. And Mr. Pronk talks about how we need to find a solution, a politically acceptable pollution, a solution rather. A politically acceptable solution is not what should be discussed here. What should be discussed here is, is, is an ecologically acceptable solution, a solution that protects the climate. And we're nowhere near that here at this point, less than a day before this thing's going to be signed. We're nowhere near it, and one of the biggest spoilers of a protocol of rules of the game is Canada. I'm disgusted with my country, and I'm sh ashamed. I don't speak only for myself. Perhaps there's another Canadian here who wants to join me, who wants to do the same thing. Is there another Canadian in the house? So is that your passport? That's my passport, yes. And Kelly, Kelly Reinhardt, step forward. At this conference, I learned that even if we reach the Kyoto Protocol, the best we could do is uh, postpone our global warming by eight years. We're going to put this off by, by a, a small fraction of eight years. And I'm also reading today that uh, um, we, we can't do anything to stop global warming uh, for at least 50 years. So we've got things that have uh, gotten extremely bad and now they're going to get worse. So uh, we either got to figure out how to reduce our emissions or maybe try and find another planet to live on and screw that one up too because uh, we've really done a lot to... Um, we've really done a lot to destroy this... Uh, destroy this planet or at least get us there, you know. You can go home, you know, go to the hotel tonight and think about it. I mean, the future of the Arctic, of Canada's Arctic, is literally in his hands. The Arctic is already disappearing. The polar bears are in trouble. Species are, are in places where they never, they never were before. The Inuit are talking about thunderstorms. They don't have thunderstorms in the north. This, this is unknown in the oral history of the Inuit, to have thunderstorms in the north. They now have robins. They don't have a word for robin. The changes are already happening. So, you know, it's, we can all be fooled. We can all be fooled by the comings and goings up and down the hallway, by the piles of paper that are floating around, by the little theatrical presentations, the nice photo ops. But as you all know, there's something very, very profoundly serious going down here, and my country is the worst. Canada is the worst. And I'm pointing the finger, finger directly at Lloyd Axworthy. So, please, go talk to him. Ask him what he's doing to protect the Arctic, to protect the polar bears, to protect the Inuit culture, to protect the integrity of the atmosphere and of the planet. Why don't you say something? And it's not as if Canada doesn't have options, doesn't have solutions. There's an excellent report that was put out a few days ago by the David Suzuki Foundation in conjunction with other organizations that shows how a 50% target, not a 2 or a 3 or a 5 or a 6, percent target, but a, a 50 percent target in re emission reductions in Canada could be realized at a positive ec on a, with positive economic impact, more job creation, and protecting the integrity of the climate. And this isn't just an ecological issue, this is a human rights issue. We're talking to people that are losing their land. Sea levels are rising, islands are disappearing, the land is slipping into the ocean. At Tuk -tuk -tuk -tuk, people have to move their homes away from the shore because the ocean levels are rising. The permafrost, the ground is literally falling right off the hills. Everything is completely falling apart. Um, I don't know why anybody isn't asking these questions uh, in, in all these sessions. What are we doing to protect the climate? 
why aren't we talking about 60 to 80 percent reductions in CO2 emissions, uh, which is what the scientists around the world agree needs to be happening as a minimum? Why aren't we asking these questions? Why are we getting caught down in all these loopholes and sinks and things between EU and the US and the G77? Those aren't the important things. The important things are is that we immediately reduce our greenhouse gas emissions 60 to 80 percent. The future of our planet is at stake. All of our lives are at stake here. Everyone around the world is dependent on the environment to survive. And uh, that's all I have to say. Well, you know, <clears throat> good one. Very pleased that the two of you did this because at last somebody's waking up this crowd of cynics who are just sitting here reporting the political, the political usual nonsensical paper game. So are you going to be chucked out now? Yeah, I don't know. I hope the media stick around to see what happens. Yeah. Do you have anything to do with this? Yeah, yeah I did. Mm -hmm. You did that? Yeah. Uh, yes, I did. You did. You did that. You 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 burned out. I did out this. I burnt I burnt my passport okay. right here. Yes. Then we have to accompany you out of the of the place. Why? So can you come with us? Or so I would take you. Why would you? Why come? Because with this you? is a security hazard. <laughs> Because if, if they if they uh, if they arrest you, this is going to go all, all on well, the press. We should be able to go on TV just to catch this on TV, huh? Yeah, yeah catch it live. Just sit there. A live, a live arrest. Yeah, stay live there. Arrest. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Let's get the mic going. Listen, I would like to help. Yeah. You no, know, he's here. You know, he cannot. You know. Right. He knows. He knows it. He knows why he cannot be no, here. No, I, I have no idea. Actually. Why can't I be here? Because making fire inside the premises is a security hazard to all of your colleagues that are here and to everybody that is inside the premises. It's a security hazard. It's a security. Yeah. Making a fire. Yeah. Now there's no smoke. This is on the world. It's being broadcast live much. on the net. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm very I've much impressed it. about what you're telling me. Okay. I let you very speak. I'd like to. I'd like you to listen to me. I'm very much impressed about. So there are people there. At least 20 people. Now, please, sir. People smoking. Can you please? Can you please accompany us outside? There are people smoking. You don't abide by the much. security rules of this uh, conference center. Do you Why do not? The same thing to everybody who lights up a cigarette here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be interviewed by you. I'm just asking you kindly to accompany us again. Well, I'm telling. I'm asking okay. you a question. Okay. We're gonna wait for you. We're gonna wait for you. We're going to wait. Otherwise, I'm going to run away again and we're going to be playing games. Fire hazard. The fire hazard. There was no hazard. The passport burned. It's actually been kind of annoying. Like People have been smoking here, especially the Greenpeace contingent. They've been smoking cigarettes. Supposed to be a no smoking zone with all this paper around, right? The cigarettes and paper, it's a very combustible situation. I met him over there, and I just want to know what you're going to do because I have my equipment over there, okay? Are you going to take him out? So, sir, are you accompanying us? Well, as I've explained to you, there's a, there's a concern. There's a concern about fire. If you're maintaining that, that the concern is about fire, there is no danger of fire. There was a metal, uh, a metal tray here. There was water. There was no danger whatsoever of fire. So tell me for real, sir, what your concern is. What is your concern? It's not fire. What is your concern? It's not. It's not the burning of a couple of passports that's, that's a, a problem here. It's the burning of the planets that's resulting from all the burning of the fossil fuels. It's the burning. I mean, go deal with. Why don't you, Mr. Security, go deal with the lack of security on this planet? Because the burning of fossil fuels is what's causing the problem. The burning of the coal, the burning of the natural gas, the burning of the oil, that's the real problem. You're right. So do something about it. Maybe the United Nations could do something about that. That would really be welcomed by the citizens of Tuvalu before they disappear under the rising tide. Maybe it would be appreciated by the people in the, in the Inuit up in northern Canada who are disappearing because the ecosystem is melting away. The polar bears are disappearing and their food source is disappearing. Don't bother me for burning two passports. Seriously. Probably it's a crime according to Canadian law, but here I, I don't see any danger, real danger. Well, we recorded <laughs> all the event. You know, I was starting to interview the, the guy from New York Times, the reporter, uh, Andrew, and, uh, and then 
took her from, from my back and said, I'm sorry, I have to occupy this space. And I said, yes, the guy from New York Times just went away and <laughs> <laughs> took her, you know, and then he started making the thing. The media looking on, the Canadian activist burns his passport in the middle of the conference halls. Can you please not do that? Speaking to Theo Wams, uh, friends of the Earth Netherlands, Milieu Defensie. All right, and um, I just came out after several days inside the Congress Center. You did. Oh. What's uh, what's happening here? We are inspecting our dike. Last Saturday, we built this huge dike uh, around the conference center with 6,000 people from all over the world to um, give inspiration to the people doing the negotiations inside. And um, since things are not going well at this moment, we have started to. Uh, inspect our dike every two hours to see whether water is coming through already. And what's the prognosis? The prognosis is at this moment we are foot deep in water and uh, it's going higher and higher. Since um, the proposal on the table from Chairman Pronk is uh, not good. All right, and uh, five seconds to wrap it up. What's, the, uh, what's our future look like? If um, we get what is being dealt with here inside, we will have uh, increased global warming with sea level rise, uh, change of climate, and all the, all the other problems. I, I understand that we're going to get that regardless of what uh, they work out. Well, th I mean, they can make a difference. If they stick to what was agreed in Kyoto, at least we have a good start for a climate policy. And the way it's being uh, discussed now inside is actually uh, watering down the Kyoto Protocol quite a bit. But shouldn't shouldn't uh, groups like WWF and Greenpeace really be calling for an immediate phase out of fossil fuels? Um, they should be calling for a phase out and we can, we can have some time for that, but we should make a real clear start in uh, introducing energy efficient efficiency measures as well as renewable energy in the rich countries as of now, of course, yeah. Uh, yeah, within say 10 minutes of us splitting up, um, be at that door and open the door and I'll, I'll hang around the dike for an extra 10 minutes and then go unlock the bike and then ride up that, that uh, corridor and boot in the door there and then I'm in. Right, I guess that's the best that we could do is to try to get back in. Are they going to fuck with us so if we're back in there? Or we just try and walk through the front door. And what'll happen? Okay, thank you. Thanks. You got your ID with you? Uh, the ID? Yeah, passport or something? Uh, got it through Okay. If I want to get the day pass. Yeah, yeah, but you, you need your uh, no, normal ID too. Oh, yeah, I have, I have birth certificate and all that. Yeah. yeah. Can I see it? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I, was, I, was, I was telling you basically to roll. I was trying to get you. I was rolling. You were okay. Can you be really careful? Can I put like this up? Okay. Sorry? Can you show me the badge? No, I, I'm getting the badge. I have a, I have the press pass and the one day accreditation. The one day pass. No, no, no. So, excuse me. I can't, if you have no badge, yeah. I can't get you in. They, were told, they told me I could get in. Who? The, the other journalist said it was fine. Excuse me, sir. No, the gentleman cannot get in. The gentleman wrong, wrong, out. Wrong, wrong. Out. Wrong. 
Hey. This is the man out. Now, 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 now. What's the problem? Grab him and out. What do you mean grab me and out? Grab him and out. I have, I have press now, credentials. Now, 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 go, go, react, react, react. Press credentials, press out. credentials. Freedom, excuse me, freedom of the press. Oh, took music. What do you mean, take it easy? I'm with the press. You have to throw me out of here. You have no right to do that, sir. That's how, that's how the United Nations works it out. That's how they work it out here, right? Someone of conscience who takes an action, not illegal, takes an action, is manhandled. Work it out. Work it out. Okay? That's how you work it out, huh? Peacefully, honestly, meet with my with, with Axworthy, external affairs minister. I have an important matter to talk with him about. I want to work it out. If that doesn't work out. I want to meet with Mr. Prime. Not hurting anybody. I haven't caused any harm to anyone. I admit. I released. You know, some carbon into the atmosphere, which which could have been avoided. <laughs> First to admit it. But uh, seriously, <laughs> such a reaction, man. So what what did he say to you? What did he say to you? Sorry. He The first Dutchman I've met in all my travels in the Netherlands. He doesn't speak some English. And we have. We have another language. We ask, do you speak English or do you speak Americans? Yes? I don't speak American. Way. I don't speak American. Oh, pity for you. I speak Canadian. Oh, fine. I don't like being mistaken for an American. That's your problem. C'est ça ce qu'on veut dans les Nations Unies, c'est la communication entre les différentes langues. C'est possible ou c'est pas possible? Don't know. I don't know. We, we only I have one language in common, so we can either communicate or not. Your choice. I don't have to communicate with you. Well, they just threw me out of the building, yes. and the authorities came to speak to other authorities and said something to them. And I asked them what they said. That is not your business. It's not my business. Um, no, I wanted to come back in. And they just they just grabbed me, and they're calling the police on me now. Uh, uh, did you survive it, I think, did, right? Yeah, we survived last night, and we just can't. You asked if we got back in. Yeah, right. Yeah, well, we got all the way in. Yeah. And yeah, showed the ID and everything, and then they wanted to see the orange card. Yeah. They didn't have an orange card. So they called over the superior. And yeah. It was that guy from last night, oh. yeah. the head of security. <laughs> so he came over and did something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they called the police over and said, get this guy out of here. Wait. Did they do that? Yeah. So they're trying to strategize over here what they're going to do next, what their next move will be. Okay, I see you. I hope I see you. If I don't see you anymore, because yeah. I'm going to be. Are you going to be inside? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see each other. Yeah. Okay. Call me. Write me. Yeah. Go to Brazil. Okay. Let's make it. You know, Absolutely, let's, we should. Let, let's we should be connect in, in touch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Hello. Zero. Hello. Zero. Hi. You speak English? Yeah. Yes, my Dutch is not. Yes, I do. I speak French as well. This is uh, correct, huh? Yeah. Canadian, okay. I'm the chief of police here, yeah. and on behalf of the uh, VN. What's, what's going on? Sir. What, what's the trouble going Sir. on with my friend? I'm talking to you on yeah. behalf of the VN. I'm listening to you, yeah. you don't need to push me around. You have to move yourself from the area now. Um, on what if you don't on what go, yeah. if you don't go, yeah. you will be arrested by us. So. Can you tell me on what basis? Yes, I can. Why? Yeah, why? If you, uh, Authorize us to move you from this area. You are the not allowed the United to be Nations. Here. The United Nations has requested that I, I be removed from the have a right. Because he can't sir. I'm a journalist. He's a journalist. He's a journalist. No such thing is allowed. Why are, why are you blocking a journalist from documenting what's going on here? I have freedom of the press, sir. I have a press pass. I have freedom to be here and video the No, no, not everything. Yes, everything. This is what's going on. I've come to this country with this man to cover this conference, mm -hmm. yeah. and they're not letting him in to cover it. Well, cover the conference. I'm covering it. Oh, this, this is, is what's happening. This is not the conference. The conference is inside. Our citizens back home are very interested in what's going on here. Well, well inside, yeah, not here outside. No, they, well, they may very well be. Oh, there's no, there's, there's no, no news here. There's no, <laughs> there's no good reason why we're not allowed to uh, to get in and finish there doing is, our job. Well. Could you explain to us what the United Nations says? Yes, Leah. So, 
Yeah. I don't understand why. Well, ask them. It's, it's just a very curious situation. Yes. I would like to ask them. Please where stop. I just need my. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. My luggage over there. That's mine. That's mine. I'm back. Please don't touch me. Oh. Please don't touch me. That's mine. I, oh. I have a right. I know you. You make problems. I'm, I'm on my way out the door. I'm, I have a right yes. to. But you, you make problems. Don't do that. I'm not making problems. Yes. Excuse me, sir. Are you, are you, are you with the United yes, Nations? Yes, Okay, I'm from the end. Make me. Thank you, Mr. Or you can stay here. You cannot come in uh, this area again. Past this fence here. Okay. Or another fence. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually, there's one. There's one problem. Perhaps you could help me with it. I don't want to do it without you know without your permission. I got one of the bicycles from these folks, and it's parked underneath your underneath the police. Mm -hmm. Could I give you the key, or would you want me to cash it in? It's worth a hundred guilders. Yeah, it's a hundred guilders. Hundred guilders. Yeah. Would you would you get it for me? No. <laughs> Maybe he's standing somewhere around here. Maybe it just started rolling on its own. <laughs> There's strange things that happen with strange bicycles things. in this country. Fits. The fits do strange things. But maybe it's better to search uh, for yourself and yeah. you can find them. Okay, thanks for your help. Good luck. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, we're fucking around with the authorities. The authorities figure they could fuck around with us, right? It's all in good fun. All in good fun. Steal my button. <laughs>